Hello everyone, this is Renee with Delaney Jane Cards and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be making this glow in the dark scene with Heffy Doodles Rescue Dogs. It's this cute little stamp set. It's a very, um, it's only got four little stamps in it. It's very uh, cost effective. Uh, maybe that's not, it's a good price point. So I started my scene here by Distress Ink Blending, and you can see that it does not blend very well on this cardstock. This is just Nina, 80 pound cardstock, and it's kind of the same as Copic Markers. Once you fill the fibers of the paper, the ink does blend better. So this first layer here, basically just slapping ink on the cardstock. I'm using a combination of Seedless Preserves, Wilted Violet, Blueprint Sketch, and Chipped Sapphire. And I did this a couple of times and I was really heavy handed with the ink because like I said, I wanted it to fill the fibers of the paper and then I knew I would get a much better um, blend. On the video here, you can't really see how nice the blend does end up being. Um, in the videos at the end, or the videos, the photos at the end, you get a much better look at that. So I did use my water and I sprinkled it on here. I left this part in the video because I wanted you to see the reaction that Distress Ink gets with water. A lot of times we see the Distress Oxides and I guess we forget about the Distress Inks. They're still one of my favorites. Their colors are super vibrant. So here I took another piece of that Nina 80 pound cardstock and I stamped the flying super dog from this stamp set. It's heavy doodle rescue dogs and I stamped it twice actually on this paper. I do have another video coming with a, another card made with this set and I actually just stamped and colored the dogs at the same time. I used my ink on three blackout ink. It's my favorite, current favorite color or um, ink for Copic coloring. So I did do something very different with my Copic coloring. Usually I do a three or four color blend for my gray. I did. I used a four color blend in the W's. I wanted the dog to appear kind of white, maybe even really light gray. And W's are my go-to for animals, living things, I guess. They're very warm. They have a little more brown in them. So I used a brown combination from W5 all the way down to W0. For my rods, I did use a five color blend only because I wanted to saturate the fibers of the paper. I have a hard time um, not having my reds bleed and I tried this to see if maybe putting a layer of color down first would help get the blend blending and maybe I wouldn't have to work it so much didn't exactly work out that way and I'm glad I ended up fussy cutting this because I think the red did bleed a little bit. But I'm using my R20s to do this. It's 20, 24, 27, 29 and then I believe 89 for my darkest deepest color and it's a really beautiful red. Just a red. And I really do like how this turned out. And you'll see I did not color the dog's nose because later on I do use a glaze pen, black glaze pen, and a white gel pen to do the dog's nose. For the tongue, I pulled out some um, R V14, uh, I don't know, they were lighter reds, and then I used that R24 as my darker color. I did fussy cut this image, like I said, directly on the line. I did not want... Uh, any white border on this one. He was going to be flying through a night sky and the white border would have been distracting. So here I did speed this up, but you can see I hold my scissors kind of in the same place and I move the paper. And he wasn't too bad to fussy cut, honestly. It was round and straight. It wasn't, there wasn't anything really too detailed. So here I'm using that black glaze pen to fill in the nose. The glaze pen is shiny and raised a little bit. And I do end up using a white gel pen to add a highlight, but I had to let the black dry. So here I did all my die cutting off screen. This is a Mama Elephant frame from the Framed Tags Park Avenue set. 
Oh, there's the white gel pen for the highlights. And then I also used the MFT Skyline border, and I did cut that out twice with black cardstock just from my scrap bin. <laughs> I ended up actually covering up that one highlight later on with a marker. Here I'm going around the edges of my dog with a marker so that you couldn't tell if I had made any mistakes fussy cutting him. I wanted to heat emboss the sentiment along the bottom of my frame. It says, thanks for coming to my rescue. And I put this in my little misty here. I need to clean this misty. <laughs> I use my Versamark ink to ink this up. I did use my anti-static powder bag there to make sure that I wasn't going to end up with any embossing powder in areas that I didn't want it to be. I stamped it just a couple of times just to make sure I had it stamped and I was tilting in the light there and I seen I did not have the best image so or impression so I just did it one more time. I used Simon Says Stamp Fine Detail White Embossing Powder for this. And I did have one little area where it seemed like the powder wanted to stick, so I used a pokey tool just to kind of loosen that up, and it came right off. So I heat embossed, or heated that to emboss it. And then I layered everything up. I wish I had another skyline because these matched up really well and it it did what it was it needed to do but I wish I would have another one. So here I wanted some of those windows to stay in so I used a couple of pieces of tape to tape the back. I did that to most of the buildings on both layers. So in here I was just fiddling trying to figure out how I wanted to layer these so they didn't exactly match up, so they look like a big city, not just the same skyline twice. And then I taped everything kind of in place to hold it and then glued it. And then trimmed off all the extras that were hanging over the frame. At this point, you could probably turn this into a shaker. That would have been really neat with like some stars, but I didn't. I glued my frame and my skyline down to my background, and you can see why I didn't bring my ink blending all the way down. I knew that the buildings would be covering the bottom. I adhered my cute little flying superhero dog to the sky, and then I needed to well, hold down some of the buildings that were not held down very well. And then I took this Nouveau glitter overlay thing, pen thing, and I added some tiny little dots to the sky. I wanted to add more interest beyond those little water drops. And that was cool. And then I pulled out these glow in the dark um, glow drops by Nouveau. I have them in yellow and uh, it's actually called banana split and then in green. I really only end up using this yellow one and I put tiny little dots all over the sky. I wanted them to look like stars. That one was a little big so I picked it back up. But these will actually, you won't be able to see the color in the sky because they react with the ink and they'll actually pull the color out of the background. So they really only show up at when it's dark. So that was kind of neat. And I thought I needed a few more and I decided to add to the open windows some of these drops, like the lights were left on. And at first I was really careful about filling them in and using my pokey tool to make sure I filled them in. And then I just tried harder to not squeeze the bottle so hard and filled them in. I figured it's a card. It doesn't have to be perfect. But I filled in the ones that were missing the little window. And it ends up really looking like a city skyline with the lights left on in some of the buildings. And what's fun about this is it really does glow in the dark ahead are some video or photos of the finished card. I'd love to hear what you think. 
I even took a shot of the glow in the dark card. I'd appreciate it if you'd like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And up ahead, you'll see another video on your screen if you'd like to continue watching. Thank you. Have a great day.